All right, today uh, we are chokering these tamarack logs out of here. I uh, cut all these down to let in light on this food plot. We're on the south side of the pond. And uh, I cut about 20 yards back into the woods. These ones on the, the very edge, ew, I left because they were uh, leaning toward the food plot and I didn't want to drop them. It was like two feet of snow when I was cutting these. So um, I didn't want to drop them where I had to drive and do all this work that I knew I was coming to do like right now. And I didn't uh, want to clean it up in the winter time in the snow. So I left those. Plus um, it's springtime and uh, the sap is running. So I'm going to drop these, use them for projects and I have to strip the bark. So I want to cut them and be able to strip the bark um, at the same time. So. When I do cut these, probably in the next couple days, depending on which ones I use, uh, I'll drop them in the pond and, and float them. Float them down. Hopefully it'll be windy. If not, we've we've used the canoe before and got them down um, that way. And then I'll pick them up with the tractor and bring them where I need to. But right now, I got a couple of these. A goddamn bridge in Buckment. Um, I got a couple of these cut right now. So I'm going to drag them because I need to build a bridge on the other side of the pond because it's really soft there. So... That's what we're doing, dragging them out with the tractor, getting them over there a bunch. Then I'm going to cut them up with the chainsaw and uh, just lay them on the ground as like a little log trail so the tractors don't sink. We did get our, our new tractor, and I'll do a video on that. It's pretty awesome. It's like a giant tank. So, all right, stay with us. So if anyone out there doesn't know how to a chain on the log. Ooh, I'll show ya. <clears throat> Somebody from New York or something. Anyway, you get a, a little ways back. You don't want it right on the end. Hopefully behind a, a branch. You want to get it as tight as possible. And that's all. You just put that link inside that hook. Like that. And that's it. And that won't slip. Now what I'm do is put it on this side of this log to pull it across this log and I'm hoping that's gonna bust all the branches off. And make my job a little easier. Hopefully it doesn't get caught on that log or that stump. We'll see if it works here. Can't do that stuff with a four wheeler.
right, we're just cleaning up the sh sharp spots. I don't want to put any holes in my tires. So we'll uh, get this one out of the way, grab that next one, and then choker both of them just like the four. I'll get four down at the end and then cut them up the lengths I need, start building it, and then see how much more wood I need, come back, keep doing this. So. Okay, what I want to do is break all these limbs off against that stump. So I'm going to pull it between these two, see if this works. That didn't work at all. <laughs> it flips. Oh well.
All right, so this part I made last year and uh, it was real bad in through here. So we just stuffed a bunch of branches. I wish I put a culvert in because the water trickles underneath the logs. You can see it mo moving there. It dumps in here. You can actually hear it under the logs. But anyhow, I can get my tractor over here. I did it to, to pull out all those trees I had cut and it made it, but if I keep running this to go plow that field and get it ready to plant, then I'm gonna have a problem. So what I'm thinking about doing is getting some skinny ones, dropping them here in the ruts, a couple there, and then spanning it like that with the other trees and end up with this. And uh, this is a year old. They're not too bad. So I'm guessing I'll have to do it every four years or so. All right, so what I did was I, I walked over there and I just paced out in the ruts how many steps it was. And uh, I think I'm gonna start out with um, two in the right rut because it's, it's lower on that end. So I'm gonna put two in there and then one on the high side. And uh, so I already got those cut. Hopefully I can manhandle these, um, set them in there, and then I'll chunk up these smaller ones and then put them the other way. I know I'm making it look easy, but it's not.
Barbara. So my wife mentioned earlier, and I think she's right, is if I do it this way and then put boards across and keep on stacking them, boom, 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 you're gonna drive the tractor on it and they're gonna roll on these logs. And I thought that these logs, and eventually they will sink into the ground and then the ends of the logs going across will touch the ground and then they won't roll, but that's gonna take a couple years. So I think the, for these logs to sink, so, or not a couple years, but you're gonna have to drive over them a couple times. <clears throat> so I don't think it's gonna work right away. So I think I have to flip these and just put a bunch of logs across and then they'll all sink into the mud. <clears throat> so I think I'm gonna do that. All right, so that's what I got. That's uh, four trees. I think I gotta get, cut one more down, put a few more in there, and on that side. And then I think we should be good, at least for this year, you can see how soupy this is. But I could go for a beer right now. Um, maybe I'll come back, drive the tractor across and see how it works. All right, so we're gonna try to drive across this and then I'm done for the day. It's been like 11 hours today. We put windows in the cabin, sheeted the cabin. Uh, I disked this north, uh, west field on, on the pond and, uh, so, and did this bridge and stuff. So tomorrow we're gonna drag this field and it'll be ready to plant and then uh, continue cutting trees, getting this cleaned up and then cutting what I need from this self plot and putting them in the water so I don't have to, once I plant this and hopefully I'll disc it and drag it tomorrow. And then once I plant it, I don't have to get back here again. Um, Hopefully not. <clears throat> but let's see if, if this works. The first time I did that other bridge, we got stuck and I had to use a come along to get the tractor out. So hopefully it goes better this time. 